Hi everyone, I'm Akila. In this video, let us see how to use date add function for some calculations in Power BI report. I'm working with AdventureWorks GW 2017 data. I have loaded fact internet sales table. In this table, I have added the order date with the hierarchy. Okay, let me add a measure and show you how a date add function syntax is and how it is used to display in the report. So let me name this as, before we go to the requirement, let us see the output of the date add function first. Month ago date. Okay. Date add function got three parameters. First parameter, we need to pass a table column which has dates. So in the fact internet tables, we know that we are working with order date. So I have selected the order date and dot I'm giving, passing the complete date. And the number of intervals is the second parameter. It can be any number, positive or negative number. Date add function will move the dates in forward direction as well as in the backward direction. If it is positive, forward. If it is negative, backward direction. So my requirement is to display the data for a particular date with respect to previous month. For example, when I am getting the values for January 1st, 2010, I want the data displayed there of 2009, December 1st. So a month ago, irrespective of the year. So to mention that, I'm mentioning here minus one. The third interval is very important. Whether it's a day, month, quarter or year, we can pass the time based on these four intervals. I want to pass based on the month, previous month. Okay, let us see the date add function output before we get the sales amount into the table. Now, this is the column which we have just created. Okay, in respect of time, let me display the short date. Okay, month ago date. See, when it is February 1st, 2010. Here we have added a filter here and let me select a particular month so that it will be easy for us to validate. See, on February 1st, 2012, the month ago is giving us January 1st, 2012. See, on 3rd February, it is giving 3rd January. So, date add function will give us the dates based on the interval you passed, whether it's a forward or backward. Okay, if I give just one, what happens? We'll see. See, on February 1st, it is giving March 1st date. So this month ago date, the column which I have added using a measure to this table is the one which is calculating the date add function. So by this output, you can easily say that date add function will return a column. Okay, output is multiple values. So we know how to you write a date add function syntax and we know what is the output of the date add function. Now let us write a measure to calculate the sales amount of the previous month so that we can compare the month sales. Previous month sales. I am writing a calculate function and I want to add up the sales amount here. So I'm calling sum of sales and we know the correct way of calculating the sum of sales is using the sum x, right? We wrote already a measure. So I'm calling the measure total correct sales amount. Come up. Now I'm writing date add function. Back internet sales order date dot date comma minus one. I want to compare with previous month, right? So I'm passing minus one comma month. What happened here? Comma month. Enter. Now let me add the new measure previous month sales amount as well as 
let me add the current sales amount as well if i call the measure directly the total sales amount total correct sales amount Selected month sales, previous month sales. Mm -hmm. I just shifted the order. See, this month I got it. I'm removing and we are not interested in that as of now. See, on February 1st, the sales was this. But in the previous month, the sale was this. To make it too precise to read and all, we can update the decimal value to zero as of now so that it will be easy for readable sales yeah previous sales amount i'm selecting the measure and making the decimals to zero just for readability yeah see okay you may ask me the question how can we test this output Okay, so what I'll do is I will add another table. Okay, and we know this table is filtered based on this filter, right? So we got February data. First, let me remove the interactions. Select the format, click edit interactions, edit the interactions with my new table. Okay, now add order date to this table year, month, and day, and the total sales, total correct sales. Okay, now let me select January for this particular, I'm applying filter on the visual, okay? So this will be updated only to this table. Convert into basic filtering and select only 2012. Okay. See, we can verify here. On Jan 1st, 2012, it was 16331, right? See, the previous month sales for February 1st is January 1st sales. Previous years for February 2 is 21177. See, it's very important to test our data once we develop any measure or a visual. It can you it's up to you how you could test the data. You but you have to verify the data. Hope this is useful. Thank you.